YouTube, we are at Terminus Pro Wrestling, and man, I got a very special guest with me today. He's been posting a lot of different stuff on social media. I got a lot of questions for him. It's the realist, Swerve, the realist. What's up, bro? Hey, hey man, it's been great, man. It's uh, awesome to be back out here, you know, working, grinding, hitting the road, like seeing all the new young talent that I missed yeah. out on in the last three years. I've met so many people. It's been a boom, man. So it's like, it's great, man, but it's like, it's also, it's also awesome to be a part of it. To be oh, a course. big, like, big part of this like they seen me on the terminus poster you see a yeah. big old face of me <laughs> well i got run wakanda and shit so it's awesome <laughs> wakanda dude like you have a new name right now and it's pretty interesting it's yeah. like you gone from like shane strickland the kill shot to isaiah scott to now swerve the realist yeah. why is this the new incarnation of this wrestler that you are now swerve the realist well i'm just observing the landscape of pro wrestling i'm seeing a lot of um guys having fun and it's like a lot of like playing around you know and like i mi i miss the grittiness of getting back to that realist realness you know what i mean yeah. so like you know like uh i'm a big tyler creator fan charlamagne right. the god i was like let me throw my hat in there become sort of the realist you know because like i'm the i feel like i'm the only one real in a world full of fake oh that's a lot of shots that's a lot of shots um i don't mean this as a joke but like why the three in the word in the name swerve it's like um this is my like third iteration of swerve you know Fair. it's like you know like um when I really got my run in 2017, 2016, 2018, that was like, man, that was like me like skyrocketing and becoming like, okay, I found out who I am. I'm like, yeah. I know who that guy is. And then um, going on to Isaiah Swerve Scott, that was like another evolution I had to change and like switch over to it. But it took time, but it evolved. Now this is Swerve the Realist. You're seeing like me coming out. I'm 30 years old coming out. And like you see me coming in, at, going to WWE as a kid, coming yeah. out. Like, I'm a 30-year-old man. I'm, like, I'm an adult. I'm a real individual. So it's my third iteration. Like, I'm um, going into my 30s. And, you know, so it's a it's more mature version of me. Definitely. You know? I like that. I like that a lot. And so when you're in WWE, and obviously you're, you left that now, and you have, like, this new this new character, is yeah. your wrestling style any different? Are we still seeing the same time and swerve? Are we seeing, like, more oh. new moves added to the, to, you know, the repertoire? Um, well, there's some new things that I've, like, I take from the old and I just adapt to that. Yeah. Something I would say real new. I'm still hitting a brain buster. I'm still hitting a rolling cutter and a rolling flatliner. Okay. I'm still hitting the, you know, house call, what I call the ego slide now. Shout out to Montezzi over here. <laughs> was one of his new singles. Named that move after him. Um, swerve stomps. You're seeing, you're seeing, seeing all the original stuff, but it's just the demeanor. My, my, my gear is different. My look is different. Uh, you, the, you know, the, the front to my mouth, you yeah. know, the hair is longer and colorful, you know, so I feel, I feel like there's no real reason for me to add any new moves unless, like, I'm really, it's time to go for some gold or some shit and I'll bring out something <laughs> new, but, like, I'm, I'm sticking with what I, I'm sticking with what worked. Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure, and, like, talking about the show Terminus, you faced Davey Edwards and it was a... Oh, David, David Richards. Richards. Sorry, yeah. David Richards. I combined the two yeah, names no, like, right. like they're the Wolves. Um, you had a great match with them. I mean, oh, you, you won man. also. Big W. How was yeah. it like getting in the ring with someone that isn't necessarily like a high flyer like yourself, but like more of like a ground and pound guy? Well, me and David go back to like 2017, back in Defy. Okay. Um, honestly, I still wouldn't count this as beating him because I still got the victory, but I yeah. didn't beat him. Um, I still never beat Davey Richards in singles. You know, so I think I'm, I'm still not satisfied with that win. Um, going against the grapplers and the strikers, I had to adapt to that. Yeah. If anything, like I'm, I feel like I'm one of the most adaptable in-ring wrestlers in the world. Like, there's not much I can't do, and there's not an opponent that I haven't seen already. Sure. Like I said, coming back out here, I'm still seeing a lot of new young talent and a lot of old faces, like a Davey Richards. Yeah. You know, like I've molded to that style. You know, I've, I've beat Matt Riddle for like world championships. Yeah. He's one of the best strikers in the industry. You know, so. Like, um, Davey had some of the old tricks that I knew about, <laughs> you know, figured them out a little bit. But, I'm, once again, I'm older now. I'm matured. I know your game. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not intimidated by you. I'm <laughs> not intimidated by anybody out here, you know what I mean? Like, Definitely. you know, I faced off with low keys. I faced yeah. off with Rudy Kings. You know, you name them, some of the titans of the industry. I faced off against Kenny Omega in the Bucks. Like, yes, the striker strikers, you know? So, like, there's not too many people I'm, like, afraid of or intimidated by, and Davey will never intimidate me, but I always respect that man. Like, you know, always. 
For sure. And, like, you had such a great, like, run on Independence before you went to WWE. And now, since you're back on Independence once again, what was, like, some of your favorite moments from that initial run being an independent wrestler? What do you want, kind of want to, like, redo one more time now with this new run? Oh, Defy, for sure. Okay. Yeah. I like that. I, I'm, like, I feel like, um... It's home? I'm, go- I'm, like, I feel like, um, Goliath from Gargoyles now. <laughs> watching over the, <laughs> watching over the city of, uh, Washington Hall, I should say. You know, um... It's, it's it's a it's a different feel. I feel different in it. Yeah, I do. I feel different in the atmosphere. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. And that's a that's an amazing feeling. You know what I'm saying? There's Serena Deeb. Shout out Serena Deeb. OG over there. Um, you know, like, and that's what I wanted to bring. Every yeah. every every uh, arena, every venue, building, like hall. I step into. There's a, the whole. The arena, the the feel changes. You don't want to change the atmosphere. You know, it's another thing. The realism. It's like a real thing. It's a real like I want to make you feel. For some, uh, being in WWE, I learned that just like Terry Taylor put something in my mind. He's like, I want to I want to feel something about you when I'm watching you wrestle. Yeah. And that's where it, it just clicked for me, and I just like my mind just started morphing and changing. Then I started morphing and changing in the ring. Like took a lot of things out that I was like I don't necessarily need that. I don't. I need to, these people to feel and understand who I am and understand like the situation they're watching. Yeah, totally. You know, what I mean, I, I need y'all to feel that. I want you to feel it from the second you see me enter the ring, from the sound, from the look, from the way I get in the ring, from the way I take off my glasses. I want you to feel every ounce of my movement. I don't have wasted movement. You know, so, I like, like that. That's I like one that. thing I learned, man. So that's that's what I want to bring to this, everywhere I go. What's like the biggest thing you learned while being a part of the WWE? Um, just standing out, Definitely. standing out, maneuvering and adapting. Cause I do that everywhere I went. Oh, yeah. I had to move, I had to move and adapt on the Indies. Yeah. Cause like everybody was just like on fire. And then when I went to Lucha Underground, I had to move and adapt there. Cause yeah. everybody was athletic and like some of the most gifted wrestlers and Lucha Luchadors you could ever see in this world. Sure. So I had to find a way to stand out and adapt to that. Now, like NXT, I had to find a way to adapt to some of the best wrestlers again on a higher pay scale, on a higher, like, stage, you know? And with, like, John Cena randomly walking in and watching you, you know? Or <laughs> oh. Shawn Michaels standing there watching you, you know, just, like, and not having, being intimidated by them. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm still me. Like, Did you ever get, like, any advice from, like, one of those kind of legends? Uh, Edge is one of my good friends now. Oh, like, wow. So, yeah. What a sentence. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Like, I grew up watching him, so, like, he watched me and uh, Drew Gulak from 205 Live. Okay. And because um, uh, Beth was commentating, she told him, like, hey, watch this match. You need to watch this match. Yeah. And he, like, just absorbed. He's like, oh, my God, this is what this this is what I love. Yeah. I was sure. everything that he loved about wrestling. So he just attached to me, and we just we been talk on the phone for, like, 30 minutes. So, like, it's not, like, one thing I learned from him. It's just, like, so much. A lot. So many things. And, like, watching, if you put, like, our matches, like, um, him versus, like, a Seth Rollins. Yeah. Uh, at the Hell in a Cell thing. Yeah, but yeah. that match next to me and Leon Ruff, we do a lot of very similar, like, there's yeah, a lot true. of similar movements. There's a lot of similar pacing. There's a lot of similar shots that are done with, on camera. Like, cause, so, like, we kind of mirror each other in a lot of ways. Yeah. We're the taller, lankier guys. Yeah, that's So we move a different way. <laughs> you know, so, like, that's, like, my one of my idols and one of my great friends. I'll randomly text him. He'll yeah. randomly text me, see wow. how I'm doing, so... Like I said, like, it was never wasted time there. People were like, oh, my God, they wasted your time in over WWE. I'm like, no. No, it was, that's what I needed. I came, like, I came out better that's good. when I went in. I mean, that's the only thing you can really ask for is to come out better. And I guess, like, one of the two things I want to talk about, Swerve, uh, there's a lot of rumors going around. Yeah. You're posting about a lot of them, too. I'd be a bad journalist to not ask this question. Are you signing with AEW? Because I mean, there's a lot of rumors saying you are. There's a lot of rumors. I still haven't confirmed anything yet. I still haven't put, like, you know... I haven't confirmed nothing. You know, I just like the intention, so I'm going to keep retweeting it. <laughs> like, y'all saying it. Like, Sean Rossap, shout out Sean Rossap, one of the great best journalists out there. You know, he put it out there. I was like, oh, cool. Let me share it. Let me get you some hits, too. Right. I never confirmed nor denied anything. Is that, of like, your interest to actually go there one day? Yeah, I'm interested in a lot of a lot of places, you know. Like, you uh, it's cool that they're, a lot, that they're interested in me. Like I said, I came out better than when I went in. That's fair. You know, so... Um, just the fact that I'm the talk of the town right now, that's really, that's honor to me. You know, I'm privileged. Oh, yeah. Because I got, 
I could be like struggling to try to get in the door anywhere. But nah, all these nah, doors are open. It. You know, that's crazy. So it's just a narrative I want to change on the industry right now. You know what I'm saying? Like they're saying like it's like we, I feel like the same people get talked about over and over and over and over and over again week by week by week by week. I'm like, yo, like like why is Mike Swerve not ever being mentioned now? Swerve's being mentioned now. It's like okay, like there's a lot of great guy. There's a lot of great talents, but. Like, I feel like I'm one of the biggest stars in the industry, and I'm like, 2022 is going to show that from all the stuff that I'm going to pull out. And I haven't even brought out every, everything yet. Y'all haven't even seen half the shit that I'm working on that's about to come to fruition when I really start going. So, you know what I'm saying? So, but y'all, I, I'm said too much. I'll say too much. I'll let y'all linger. Uh, my man Teasy tell me. Tell oh, me. man. So, so man close, so close. <laughs> All right, man. Last two questions. Yeah, What's your yeah. goals in 2022 now since you're back on the independent scene? Now since you're doing your own thing and possible Wednesday nights might be free? Uh, control the narrative and freaking control the industry. Take over the industry. I like that. Like, I'm going to be one of the biggest crossover stars you've seen in this, in this, in this business. Heck yeah. You know, I work, I work myself... Like to the bone, man. I have a great team around me. Um, TZ, Mike X, Siren. Shout out Swerve City Podcast. Without yeah. these guys, you don't see this evolution of Swerve. You know, they make me look good, and I, in return, I bring them up with the greatest opportunities. You know, shout out Rich Lotta producing the, the AEW soundtrack. You know, what I mean, yeah. shout out TZ doing music on it, rapping on it, bringing in other artists. Very Mike talented. Ruckus. You know, it's a squad. Like that was that was like developed the whole time I was in NXT. So, I'm wow. getting my team, get them eating, get them working, you know what I'm saying? Like, we all come up together. It don't matter where I'm at, where they're signed. Yeah. Like, no, I'm going to make sure you win. He's going to make sure I win. And we're going to bring this up, to, to bring this together, man. I like and, that. Like, the, the team from Hollywood, shout out Flash Garments. About to get real spooky this season, 22, 2022. It's going to get crazy. 2022, Evan. 22. This is amazing. That's where my last question is. Your music right now. What, what can we expect for your music going forward? Yo, March 18th, Tears, Swerve City. That's all I'm saying, man. Oh, like, so cool. New music videos dropping digits featuring AJ Frank, a.k.a. Top Dollar. Hey. That's coming out. And March 18th, we are dropping the debut video, premiere, world premiere of the Tears music video along with the album self-titled tears you got to watch this it's going to be it's getting crazy dog it's getting nuts that's all i gotta say very very spooky swerve where can they find you on social media swerve confident on both uh, on all the social media accounts swerve confident swerve confident and swerveconfident.com for this merchandise right here check it out boom nuts we like it we like yes, it yes you do yes Subscribe we do to the podcast <laughs> youtube.com backslash swerve city podcast yes sir crazy amount of content and we still on peacock if you want to if you still got that app and still watching all this stuff over there check it out source city podcast we interviewed william regal Ooh. pat mcafee Ooh. drew mcintyre as Ooh. ww champion Ooh. all of undisputed era freaking tony storm ember moon gargano's the family jake atlas man who do we, we got like mark henry mark henry my interview. that's my father has Shoot, Smoke Dizza, Flatbush Zombies, Heck yeah. Rosenberg. Wow. All on all on the Peacock. That's just Peacock. We got over 50 episodes on the YouTube channel alone. YouTube.com backslash Swerve City Podcast. Check it out, man. man. Shout out Brain Dead, yo. It's about to get crazy in here. The guy Shout does out new vintage. That's <laughs> it. 2022 is getting nuts. <laughs> I love this guy. He's the talk of the town, a future star, future Hall of Famer, future world champion. Swerve, thank you so much for coming on. Appreciate you, I really man. appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Guys, no Terminus Pro, check it out and link down below. Make sure to like, comment, share, and always subscribe. And we're out. We going up like a thousand. I'm a flesh just like a muscle man Malcolm. Uh, we going up like a thousand. I'm a flesh just like a muscle man Malcolm. Uh, when did you like one, two, three? If you like the channel, this is squeeze. If you like the channel, this is squeeze. If you like the channel, this is squeeze. Like like hey.